In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kiwi Viewer to control Paraview Desktop from your mobile device. So, first, you'll want to download the latest version of Paraview. Here I've got Paraview 3.98. And we can go to the Tools menu and select Manage Plugins. In the Plugins list, you'll find the Mobile Remote Control. I already have that loaded, but you'll want to click there and then click Load Selected. And then you can expand that and you can check auto load so that it's loaded each time you open Paraview. So what that gives you is that in the view menu, you can find the mobile remote control. And that's going to have this panel over here. Uh, the panel has some description um, and it tells you your host name and your server address. So right now this is con uh, connected to my Android phone, but I'm going to disconnect that and now I'm going to um, start the server again and so status says waiting for a connection and it gives you the port number which you can change and now I'll go to uh, this iPad and launch Kiwi Viewer and from the uh, main document screen under network data sources you can find Pairview mobile remote control so let's start that up and we're asked to enter our host name now it remembers your host name, so once you set it up once, you won't have to type anything again. And now just touch start, and it will connect, and the geometry is sent from here to the iPad over your local network. And so now as I interact, uh, the camera and pair view updates. So not only can you adjust the camera like this, but it's also a really convenient way to send the um, pair view data over to your mobile device. Um, now I'm going to show you what happens if you send a larger scene. So in the toolbar, there's this uh, refresh scene button. And so if I make a change over in Paraview, for example, I could um, just hide it. So now we're just looking at the outline. Uh, then when I come over to the iPad and touch refresh scene, it's going to update and show me just that. So if you had a very large data set, you could have just a small piece of the data shown in the view send it over to Kiwi Viewer, uh, and then show your data again in Paraview. And Kiwi Viewer still just has the small representation of the data, but all the same, you can still uh, control the camera that way. Now, if you do want to send a larger piece of data, Kiwi Viewer has enough memory to support uh, larger data to, to some limit. So here, I'm going to hide this data, and I'm going to load um, a, a much larger version of the data. So this one we can see has uh, is about 15 megabytes. So it's not it's it can fit comfortably in memory. But I want to show you what happens when you, uh, when we refresh the scene. Um, it'll actually arrive in pieces. And now it's arrived. Uh, we can interact with it, and our frame rate is pretty good. We can go to the uh, set scene settings. And we can see our frame rate is right at 30, just how we want it. And we can uh, monitor our memory usage as well. Okay, thanks for watching.